Imagine if an apocalypse strikes, all the plants are dead, and you only have one seed left to grow food for humanity. And it's not a cactus. Yep, you're screwed. Thank God we have scientists who won't let that happen. Welcome to the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. Located way up north in the permafrost, 1,300 kilometers beyond the Arctic Circle, Norway has the world's largest secure seed storage. These five metal doors are opened only a few times each year to accept new seed entries. The vault encapsulates 13,000 years of the world's agricultural history, holding over 1.2 million seed samples from nearly every country, including North Korea. It provides options for future generations, which hopefully will never need to be utilized. The seed vault is built to last about 200 years and can withstand natural and man-made disasters, earning it the nickname Doomsday Seed Vault. Upon unlocking the heavily fortified door, the temperature inside is minus 18 degrees Celsius or minus 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the global benchmark for seed preservation. The vault maintains minimal metabolic activity, allowing the seeds to remain potent for extended durations. So you can call it the world's most important freezer. To preserve its contents, the Arctic vault is protected by almost 400 feet of rock at its deepest point. So it's naturally within permafrost. The temperature here stays around 25 to 23 Fahrenheit all year round. And if something happened and there was no power, seeds would still stay viable. The seeds are sealed in custom-made three-ply foil packages, which are sealed inside boxes and stored on shelves inside the seed vault. But don't be mistaken, the vault is only preserving the plant-based gene material. I had letters from men wanting to put their gene material in here. <laughs> that is really strange, and, and we don't answer those. By the way, in the event of doomsday, we would be left without marijuana, because no drugs or genetically modified materials are allowed to be stored here. Sorry. Also, the seeds in the vault belong to the depositing country and can be retrieved only if their own reserves are threatened. In 2015, for example, the vault seeds helped rejuvenate a research center after its Aleppo seed bank was lost in the Syrian civil war. Let's hope doomsday never arrives and that your only plant-related concern remains the withering cactus on your windowsill.